Welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have started the dictionary concept and uh, we have seen how to create a dictionary, how to update the dictionary. Right. So now in today's session, we will go with the methods available for the dictionary. So there are uh, different built-in methods available for this dictionary. So let us recall the dictionary concept. So this dictionary consists of key value pay, right? The key value pay, which is available in form of tuple, right? And <coughs> this is a collection of uh, this key value pairs enclosed in the square braces uh, and separated with a comma, right? So this dictionary is equal to empty square braces. This is nothing but an empty dictionary right now we'll see different methods available in this dictionary now this is all about the introduction to this dictionary concept we'll see the methods so first method copy so let us take uh, this D is equal to dictionary, some name, colon, A, B, C, some R number, colon, 1, 2, 3, some course, colon, B, take. So let us take, uh, see, okay. this is the dictionary available. Now copy, so this will just copy the key value pairs into another variable. So that means if you apply this d dot copy automatically a one more copy of this key value pairs will be available. So, the same thing will be available. Whatever here, the, the same thing will be available here. And if you assign this to another variable, suppose a is equal to d, then a will be having the same thing. That means similarly, I mean, this is almost equal to a is equal to d. So, all these three key value pairs will be assigned to a also. That means a copy will be created, a reference. So, in Python, there will be no other memory will be created. So, for the same memory, one more reference will be applied. So, A will be referenced to the same key value page. In this case, copy. Now, clear. So, the name itself indicates clear function will clear all the items in the dictionary so we call these key value pairs in the dictionary as a items so it will clear or it will remove all key value pairs all the key value pairs so after applying this clear so this will be d dot copy so that means a dictionary dot copy the syntax and this index is d dot clear where d is a dictionary d is a dictionary right dictionary variable dot clear so it will gives an empty dictionary as a result an empty dictionary as a result because it will clear all the items of the dictionary items we, we just now we have seen that uh, this key value pair is called as a item in the dictionary concept so these items it will display all the key value pairs all the key value pairs available in dictionary
right? So it will give a complete D, D dot items, D dot items. The syntax is D dot items. So that means see, here we are not taking any argument, here we are not taking any argument, here also we are not taking any argument. So there are no arguments, zero arguments. Just we will call these functions with the help of this dictionary name d dot items d dot clear d dot copy. Similarly, keys. So in the dictionary concept, the first one if we call it as a keys, and the second one we call it as a values. So all these first attributes we call them as keys. So this function will give all the keys available in the dictionary. So here also we are giving uh, nothing as a argument, zero arguments. So this is also called with the help of the dictionary name. So it will give or it will display all the keys in dictionary. The syntax is d dot keys. So here also there are no arguments, zero arguments. And the next one is values. Values. So the second one in the key value pair, the second one is a value for the given attribute. So this values method will display all the values of the dictionary. Right? It, this will display all the values of the dictionary. And here also we are not giving any arguments it doesn't take any arguments zero arguments right and it is it is called with the help of the dictionary name right so it displays all the values in dictionary right so this is called with d dot values so This will give the same dictionary, this one, and this will give the name only these keys, name, R number, course, right? This will give A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, and B, D, right? So, first I will explain all these things, and then later we will implement this by using the Python interpreter, so that you will, you will get clarified about all these uh, methods, right? So, these are the few methods, and Next, we'll go with the next one. The next one is update. Update method. So this update method will take an argument as a dictionary so this is used to add uh, one or more key value pairs into the dictionary it is used to add one or more items into existing dictionary So let us take this one example. So this syntax is for this update is so update sorry d dot update. So d, here d is a dictionary name. So d dot update open the curly brace and here you can go with the key value pairs which we want to add for the existing one. So here I will take a branch. right and also I will take some place right see here I have taken this two items which are not available in the pre present dictionary so here we are having a dictionary with the three key value space, name, odd number, course. 
and branch and place are not available in the dictionary. Now by using this update, we can add these two key value pairs into the existing dictionary. For that we have to take, we have to pass this dictionary as a parameter to the update method. Right? And see, here we have to give the key value pair placed in curly braces. This is very important. So we have to place this one in curly braces. Then only this update method will be valid. Okay. So this one is a see d dot update curly brace key key one colon val one value one comma key two colon value two comma and so on close this curly brace this one so this is the syntax for this update method so hope you understood this update method so this is used to insert more one or more items into the existing dictionary now we'll go with the another one delete so how to delete an item from the dictionary so for that there are two methods that is a pop and pop item so first let us see this pop item, pop function so this is used to delete or remove an item from dictionary and it will return the item or the value return the value which is removed right it will return the value which is removed so value of a key which is which was removed right so here there will be one argument that is key so there may be two arguments so syntax i will give you the syntax for this uh, pop so d dot pop you can give a key comma value so we can give it to both the key and value and this value may be optional so that the value may be given or may not be given so if you give only the key then automatically that particular item will be deleted and that particular corresponding value will be returned as a result right so if you delete deep dot pop of let us take a course and just giving only one argument that is also a key course is a key so the result of this one is bt it will return the value of value corresponding to the given key it will return the value corresponding to the given key which was removed now if you immediately print this d we'll get only the two items that is name a b c and r number 1 2 3 only two items will be available right the third item is removed and that value will be returned so this will be the result for this method okay you can use the value or you may not use the value so this is an optional argument it is an optional argument we can specify or we may, we may not specify right so this is all about this pop pop function it will take a two arguments and the next one is pop item so if you don't know about the existing key values or existing items available in the dictionary if you don't know about the existing key value pairs in the dictionary then directly we can go with the pop item so it will remove the recently inserted item the recently inserted item so in this example what is the recently assigned item 
This course BTEC is recently assigned item, right? So name you have seen. Second one is R number. The third one is a course BTEC. So this item is the recently inserted item in the dictionary. So this will be deleted, and the same thing, the value will be returned. So the value. So the value of removed key value pair will be returned. So simply the syntax is, so here we, we are not giving any argument. So we don't know about the keys. We don't know about uh, what are the keys available in the dictionary. Then we will directly go with the pop item. So d dot pop item. So no arguments are given. So immediately what is the result here? The result is BTEC because the recently added item is course BTEC. Now, if you print the D, then we'll get only the two items. Only two items will get, will be getting. Only two items will be getting. Right. So these are the. This is a use of pop item method. Now we'll go with the another method. Get method. Get method means it is used to displaying the corresponding value. So here it will take one argument. that is key that is a key right so the syntax is d dot get of key so automatically it will retrieve the value of the given key it will display the value of given key right so here it is a only one argument so example if you use some d dot get r number d dot get r number so in the dictionary d what is the value of this r number 1 2 3 so it will return 1 2 3 as a result so get means retrieving the values of a given argument key it will, here key is a only one argument taken Right. Next, from keys, from keys, so here it will take a two arguments, one is a tuple of keys, so here remember all the keys can be formed as a tuple, because a tuple is a constant, right, so it is a immutable, so we can't change the values of keys, so the, all the keys can be formed as a tuple and we can pass that tuple as an one argument and the second argument is a value which will be applied for all the keys in the tuple. Let me explain here. So here are the two arguments, two arguments, one is a tuple with the keys, another one is a value for all keys the same value for all the keys the syntax for this one is so first let us form a tuple let us form a tuple so let it be t is equal to A, B, C. T is equal to A, B, C. Right? And let it be 
the same value to be assigned for all these three keys. So a value can be V. V is a value that can be 0. So we have to initialize a 0 for all the keys. Okay, we have to initialize the value 0 for all the keys. Then you can go with D dot from keys d dot from keys first one is a tuple or a sequence so we can also give the sequence right so we can also give a string right now here we are giving a tuple so in, in between the parentheses we are giving the three characters so, so it is a tuple so we can pass this t comma the value v so that means a zero value zero so this will give a dictionary with a key 0 comma 0 comma 0 so this will give the same value for all the keys in the given sequence so here the sequence is triple we are giving so here in the tuple we are giving the three values three elements these three elements are keys and we are assigning only one value for all these three elements so this result d dot from keys t is zero gives t is having three elements so a assigns zero b assigns zero c assigns zero so this is the key this is the value if you want to give the same value for all the keys we can go with this from keys Right? Then, and the last method is the set default. So, the last method is a set default. So, this is will also take a two arguments. first one is the key second one is the value if the key is already existed in the dictionary there will be no change and if this key is not available in the dictionary this newly inserted uh, uh, key will be applied to the dictionary see d dot set default and giving r number 1, 2, 3. Right? So, this is a syntax for this one. Set default key comma then. So, set default key comma value. So, here I am giving R number 1, 2, 3. Sorry. 4, 5, 6. R number 4, 5, 6. First, this function will check for this key available in the dictionary. If this key is available in the dictionary, then this value will not be changed and this will be the result. 123 will be the result. Okay, that value will not be changed if the key is available in the dictionary. And if this key is not available in the dictionary, percentage, then this will be inserted into the dictionary. Right? Now 90 will be written and if you print D, you will get name is equal to abc r number is equal to 1 2 3 course is btech and now the percentage is 90 this will be inserted with the given value this will be inserted with the given value. So, this is a set default. So, if this key is available in the dictionary, there will be no change and that value will be returned. There will be no change, nothing will be done. And if this key is not available in the dictionary, then that will be inserted into the dictionary. Inserted. Right? So, this is all about this dictionary methods, a few methods. So we have seen a copy, clear, next items, keys, values, get, pop, pop items, update, 
from keys and set default so all these are the different methods available in the dictionary so now we have seen the syntax for all these methods and the working of all these methods and now we'll see the implementation how actually the work is going to be done while implementing these methods by using the interpreter so let us move on to the interpreter hello friends uh, just now we have seen uh, different methods available in the dictionary now we'll see the implementation of each and every method first of all let us create a dictionary so I'll call it as D is equal to curly braces. So we know that uh, dictionary elements will be a key pair values, a key value pairs separated with a comma and closed in a curly braces. So, so I'm just taking an example name, <coughs> Excuse me. some ABC, some R number, Some one, two, three course detect. Yes, so just now I have created a dictionary. Now let us check it once. Print of D. So this is a key value pair. We know that uh, this name, R number, and a course. All these are the keys and A, B, C, 1, 2, 3 and B, T E C are values. Now let us ch check one by one. First of all, uh, I will show you the copy function. So it will create a copy of this dictionary. So some B is equal to D dot copy. So that so a, a copy of D will be assigned to variable B. Now let us print B. So it's a copy of D. That's nothing but B is equal to D. Right? It creates a copy of a given dictionary, and if you are assigning uh, it to the any value or a variable, so that will be assigned to that particular variable. Right? Now clear. So it will clear all the elements of the dictionary. Now I will give you an example. B dot clear. So it will create uh, clear all the key value pairs from the dictionary. So if you try to print this B, you will get an empty dictionary because previously we had a three key value pairs in the B and after executing the B dot clear, we are having the empty dictionary. Right. Next, so we call each key value pair as a items. So if you want to display all the items from the given dictionary, we have to use the method called d dot items. So it will give the dictionary items in the form of tuples. The key value pair will be in form of tuples. So here name and ABC both are in a tuple. R number one two three both are in a tuple. And a course and B tag both are in a tuple, right? So here the first one is a key and the second one is the value, right? And if you want to access only the uh, keys, then we have to use the method called keys, right? D dot keys. So then it will give a list of all the keys available in the dictionary, right? If you want to access only values, then D dot values. It will give the complete values of them. So A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, and B, tech. All these three are the values of the given dictionary. So if you observe this, D, you can know that the key value pair name IBC R number 1 2 3 course B tech. Right? Then, if you want to get a value for a particular key, then we have to go with get method. So, D dot get of here we have to place the key. So, if you want to access the name, so just give the argument as name, right? Then we'll get the value of the particular uh, given key, right? Here we have given a key has a name, so we have to get the value for the given key. So ABC is the value for the given key name. Right? Next. <coughs> pop function. Right? Pop. So get, sorry, sorry, D dot pop. Here we have to give the 
uh, what are the key value pair which we want to delete that should be given so i'll give you, I, I will give some course sorry this is a course comma what's the value here btech so it will delete that particular uh, key value pair and it will return the value which uh, which was deleted here if you try to print this again after deleting you you will get only two items so before we had we have this three items name r number and a course and then we are applying the pop operation pop means deleting so here it will take two arguments as a input one is a key second one is a value so whatever the uh, given key value pair in the pop that will be deleted and the value will be returned right next if you don't know about the uh, particular key value pairs you can directly go with pop items pop item so this method will delete the recently inserted a item see what is the recently inserted item r number 1 2 3 so first we have uh, created name then r number then course so already we have deleted this course then recently added or the recently inserted uh, item in the dictionary is r number so it will be deleted and that will be returned so if you print this after uh, pop item you will get only one key value pair right hope you understood this one also then we will go with the from keys so d dot from keys here also we have to give the two uh, parameters one is a key another one is a value right so here it takes this first one as a key and second one as a value right the first one as a key and second one as a value so here it forms a dictionary with all the keys with a same value see observe n a m e here it creates a four items with a different values or with the same value right the same value will be applied for all the keys see let us take uh, example from a is equal to we have to consider these keys in tuple right so i will consider it as a b c right sorry i have taken a so let us take d d b sorry e b c right so if i want to give the same value for all these keys d dot from keys a comma a b c so it will give the pair so it will form a pair right so what are the keys we are giving in the tuple for all the items it will give the same value so a b c will be available i mean a b c is assigned for all the keys available in this tuple a right so if you want to give the same value for all the keys then we have to go with from keys next set default so we have to set a default value so if the key value pair is available so first let me uh, we'll use the update method so if you want to insert more number of uh, items so here we are having only one element so print of d we are having only one thing so d dot update so here we have to take uh, curly braces and you have to give the where key value pair so 1 2 3 so comma next course btech right close so i have completed then so if you observe here so we have updated the d with a, again a two more elements so previously we are having only one item 
one key value pair that is only name and after updating this r number and course now the d is having the three key value pairs right so that by using this update we can update a more number of items into the existing dictionary now we can set a default value for the key specified so d dot set default here we have to give the key and value two parameters so let us let us take a r number comma give the value so let it be 254 so already this r number is available in 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 the dictionary right r number is available and the value of r number is 1 2 3 in such case it doesn't change anything the set default will doesn't change anything if this r number is not available so see i will just delete that one pop R number, comma. So it will delete it, right? So the second value, uh, the second argument that is a value is optional. I am just giving the key number, a key key name, so that it will be deleted. Now, if you observe this print, so we are having only two things. There is no R number. Now I will apply the set default method. Set default. now I, i just want to give a default r number as 254 so now r number is not available in the dictionary so it will be created now it will be created now so if you print this d now you can get the r number inserted at the last with the given default value so by using this set default also we can um, add the new key value pair so if this key value i mean if this key is available in the dictionary the old value will be remain same that means it doesn't change anything right so these are the different methods we have seen in the today's session that means that means uh, these are the methods can be applied for the dictionary so let us stop here so hope you understood this session if you really understood my session like my session and uh, share my sessions with your friends and if you are having any doubts regarding this dictionary concept feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for listening thank you very much